Hello friends, Operator Starsky with a daily update from Kyiv, Ukraine. Today is day 502 of the terror Russian invasion and the association of the Ukrainian farmers report that 400 more terrorists are now fertilizing beetroots and cucumbers in Ukraine. Seven more Russian tanks were cancelled. Also, we have just received info from the Ukrainian Tatar partisan movement Atesh who report that Kadyrovite terrorists, as well as the terrorists of the 83rd Russian Air Assault Brigade, 57th and 72nd Russian Mechanized Brigades, took huge casualties in Bakhmut, and 100% of the Russia's positions in the ruined city are now within the reach of the Ukrainian fire. The Russian Captain Stanislav Rzhitsky, commander of the Krasnodar submarine, responsible for multiple missile strikes on Ukrainian cities, was shot dead while jogging and I literally just had a carrot cake, I swear. And I'd like to remind you the words of the Ukrainian general Budanov who said that the Russian war criminals will not be able to hide anywhere on this planet, as well as their supporters, that's from me personally. If you haven't seen a Ukrainian Bradley destroying a Russian tank with an ATGM, please don't miss the chance because you would love to replay it several times. In my BTR3 back in my days, there were also two ATGMs with tandem warheads able to destroy Russian tanks while staying way out of reach. And in my opinion, armored vehicles are absolutely cool and sexy, especially those with uh, blue-yellow flags above them. Twitter keeps openly turning into a Russian fascist landfill, massively copy-pasting uh, the fakes and narratives produced by the terrorist Kremlin's regime, and recently BBC debunked several biggest lies that were disseminated in a Twitter, such as French policemen shot with American rifles smuggled from Ukraine. Russian invaders discovered baby factories in Ukraine used to harvest internal organs and abuse minors. After failing to prove that the Russian missile killed Ukrainian soldiers and NATO generals in Kramatorsk, the Russian liars spread the news that it wasn't a Russian missile at all that murdered and injured multiple civilians in the Kramatorsk restaurant. There's a very popular Russian myth about the democratic elections in Ukraine being cancelled by the President Zelensky. And Russians absolutely love this myth, uh, probably because they forgot how democracy even looks like being ruled by the same dictator for 20 years. Personally, I enjoy listening to Russians when they talk about democracy, because it's like me discussing microbiology, you know, it, it doesn't happen. Our Italian allies arrested the assets belonging to the Russian oligarchs, such as expensive yachts, villas, country houses, cars and cash. The total value of the assets is worth 2 billion euros that were year after year stolen by the Russian oligarchs from their obedient citizens so they could enjoy luxury life in Italy while the Russian citizens, in the best case, could only afford a family vacation in Dagestan. And uh, now you probably understand why the Russians hate the Ukrainian revolution of dignity so much, creating all kinds of fakes around it, because corruption is considered the biggest national treasure of the Russian people and their minions around the world. And hopefully all those arrested Russian assets will eventually turn into bullets and shells that will be flying at the Russian invaders. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Operator Starsky. As always, be safe.